Five. What is up, everybody, guy? And welcome to another episode, a special episode of the Sneakers Through Your Speakers podcast. I am your host, OT Dub, with my boy, my co host. What's up, man? Uh, I'm Seth from Fowler Customs. It looks like Keon glitched out on us, but we've got a very special guest here today, Doug Sensor Martin. You guys know him as Face Sensor. Thank you so much for being on, man. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. I'm happy to be here, man. That's awesome. Why don't we jump right into it? We all know that you're like a pro YouTuber, a pro gamer, all that sort of good stuff. What people might not know is that you're also really into sneakers. And I guess my question for you is sort of what got you into sneaker collecting in the first place? Yeah. Uh, growing up as a kid, I never really was into shoes, but I remember this one time there was this fad going around. Everyone loved the Air Force Ones. I don't know if you're, you're from New York City, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm from Long Island. So we probably have similar people and similar culture. When I was in middle school, the Air Force Ones were all their age. Everyone loved the high top, all white Air Force One. And it was like the must have shoes. So I ended up getting one of those. But then since then, all the way up until about when I was 19, I didn't really care about shoes. I had one pair of shoes for the gym and that was it. That's all I wore everywhere. And then um, once I started making more money with YouTube and I was able to afford more shoes, I went into a finish line one day and just randomly I saw this cool pair of Air Maxes. They were the 2015 Fly Knit Air Maxes and they were like oh, the nice. green and white, they were the green and the orange bubble and it was like the black top. And I loved it and I thought it was so sick. So I started collecting the Air Maxes, like specifically the crazy colored ones. Right. And uh, I had like this huge Air Max collection and every year when the new Air Maxes would come out, I would donate my last year's Air Maxes to like some sort of a charity because I didn't have room for all the shoes and I didn't want to throw them out and I knew I wasn't going to wear them. So I figured it would be a cool thing to donate them. And uh, yeah, so it started when I was 19, I would say. That's awesome, man. That's sick. Very cool. Well, what was, so you said the first pair you remember buying was, was the Air Forces, right? The Air Force Ones were like the number one shoe as a kid. I remember because before that, all I had was Skechers. My mom would take me to the cheapest shoe store in the world. So. Right. Yeah, I didn't really know anything about shoes. I still don't know everything about shoes, but I watch your videos all the time. So awesome, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot through them. I think you're reputable and I like the way you, you know, talk about things. So um, Thanks, I, I think I, I'm pretty knowledgeable on a, a good amount of shoes now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, so you said you've been collecting since you were 19. Um, I guess, have you kept a lot of the sneakers that you've collected or do you, I mean, you said you donate some of them. Do you keep any like special ones in particular? Well, I, I don't really view the Air Maxes as too special. I don't know. I just feel like they're not that exclusive. They're pretty easy to get. I didn't really get any crazy Air Max shoes. Um, but the shoes that I say I'll collect and I'll keep for a very long time are the Yeezys. I have all the V1 Yeezys. I have the Triple Whites and the Zebras. And then I have a couple pairs of Ultra Boosts as well, which I probably won't ever get rid of. But uh, yeah, They're great. They're so comfortable. It's crazy. They're my favorite shoe of all time. The Yeezy V1s are like by far my favorite shoe. I don't think anything's ever going to top those. I totally agree. They just have this like look to them. The V2s, like the V2s are dope and they're a nice looking shoe, but there's something about the V1s. I don't know if it's just the fact that they're the original ones or maybe it's the colorway. I don't know what it is, but there's something about them that I just can't get over. They're awesome. I feel like they're, they're like looser, but they feel more comfortable. Does exactly. that make any sense? Yeah, I don't totally. know how it is, but the V2, like I used to think I was a size 12 shoe. Right. So I don't know. I was a size 11, but I always had size 12s and I just found this out like not too long ago, actually. So <laughs> I had the, I had the V2 with the red stripe in a size 12. And yeah. it felt too tight on my shoe. And that's a full size up of my true to size. Right. And then I got the size 11 and it still was tight, but it felt even better. But awesome. huh. yeah, that, that was weird. But I feel like the toe box on those feel really tight on your shoe. When the V1, I could wear that all day long and it's super comfortable. And I just think they look so cool. Right. No, for uh, sure. I agree. Yo, you're back. What's up, man? Top 10 greatest intros. I just want to say that. <laughs> Top 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just talking about sneaker collecting and, and the different Yeezys that Doug has. Um, so I guess right now, like, what's your current sneaker rotation? Do you have, like, a couple different pairs to go to the gym, a couple different pairs for ball? Like, what do you yeah, yeah. on a regular basis? So I love LeBron, so I got the LeBron shoes, the new LeBrons. The space-looking ones are, like, the, the gray with, like, the light blue bottom. The Marty McFly 14s. Yeah, they're dope. They're yeah, awesome. I don't know the name. Of, you, you obviously know the name of them. You know more about shoes than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought those. Man, I love LeBron, so I support him. I got those. Those are my basketball shoes. Uh, for the gym, I always wear Ultra Boost or Vapor Max. So I got the Triple White Ultra Boost, the Oreo, um, the Core Black. And for the Vapor Max, I have the Triple Black and the Oreo as well. And those are the ones that I always wear in the gym. That's sick. I have a question for you. So I had I had Vapor Maxes for about a month, and I ended up returning them because I just I don't know if it's maybe that I, I walk weird or whatever it is, but I found like on like the inner side of my heel, I would always feel like there was no support. And it always felt like I was gonna roll my ankle or something like that. Have you ever had that issue, or are they are they fine for you? I think they're great, dude. And I felt like in the beginning they were tight; they felt right. really, really tight on my foot. But then as time went on, they got a lot looser. 
And I don't, I've always loved the Air Max, and I feel like the Vapor Max is the next thing from the Air Max, and I think it's a little bit better. It looks right. better, and I think it's more comfortable. So I'm a huge fan of the shoe. I love the colorways they have too, like that triple black and the Oreo. They're coming out with like wow. a light blue colorway next month too. So That's I love, so I love the way the shoe looks. I think they're perfect for the gym. I won't use them for leg day though. I just really? feel like it won't give you, yeah, because I feel like if you're doing squats and you're doing like 300 pound squats, it's really heavy weight <laughs> and it's not good. So I'd rather just do no, uh, do squats without any shoes on at all right what wait what that's a thing yeah because then you have <laughs> i don't know some people have weird feet like my friend has a foot that's not flat but most people's feet are flat and you want to have like a flat surface when you're doing a squat because you don't want to have an unstable surface so i'll do my squats without shoes if i'm wearing the vapor matches that day so like usually if i'm doing anything else i'll wear them that's awesome that's awesome do you run a lot or run at all i play basketball that's my form of cardio I, i've tried to do a little bit of running over the years and just you know try to keep myself as lean as possible but i felt basketball was the most fun and it, it worked the best so that's why i picked up the lebrons that's sick that's sick. how do you like them so far i love them i love them so much they're great at the beginning i felt like the late i don't know if you have those shoes but yeah. i felt like the laces would like unlace when i was playing I so them. i would take the laces and put them under the strap and it was good to go nice that's awesome well, yeah. do, you know what, do you know what lebron was wearing when you're at the game yesterday he wasn't wearing the ones that I had. He was wearing a different color scheme, but he, actually in game one, he was wearing the same ones that I, I purchased. Nice. So. That's awesome. That's He's playing tonight. I can't wait to watch. Right after this call, I'm going to be watching that game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, I guess, what would you say is your favorite shoe in your collection if you had to pick one out of everything that you've got? Uh, in terms of like the gym or in terms of just lifestyle slash everything? Lifestyle, yeah. Uh, it had to be the Turtle of Yeezys. Nice. Turtle Doves by far. Yeah, oh, dude. The, the originals, best. the first ones, right? The first yeah. ones, definitely. They're sick. I That's my favorite of all time. They're gorgeous. Yeah. They really are. No, I agree. Those are dope. I only got it to get one pair, and it was freaking like a size six. I couldn't even keep them. You got them? I didn't know you got them. That's crazy. The Turtle Doves? Yeah. <laughs> like a size six or five and a half, some size. I don't remember what it was, but. So I want to ask you guys, was the hype for the Yeezys crazy since the beginning? Like since day one? Because yeah. I didn't start getting into Yeezys about like eight months after they released. Like. Right when the V2 started to get released is when I started to really like Yeezys. I mean, well, how far back do you want to go, though? Because, you know, <laughs> uh, Kanye was with Nike at first, and hype with the Kanye Nikes were, were ridiculous. I think even more so than with the Yeezys now, maybe. Yeah, I would say so, because they were so much more limited. selective. Yeah, a lot more limited. But when then even when he went over to Adidas, hype is still, it's Kanye. Hype is always going to follow him. But yeah. the, Red o the Red Octobers were more exclusive, right? Totally, yeah. And they dropped out of nowhere. So, like, he, yeah. he started with some, like, smaller brands. I forget. Like, I'm sure he did something with Reebok. I think he might have done something. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get flamed for this, but I'm pretty sure he did stuff with other brands. And then, of course, he had the Louis Vuitton collab. He did Louis Vuitton, yeah. Yeah, which, I mean, everyone seems to sort of copy that color scheme where it's got, like, a pink outsole and then, like, the brown and gray upper. And those look sick. And then from there, he transferred to Nike. And that's when he did the, uh, the Yeezy 1s and then the Yeezy 2s, which is, like, the Red Octobers. And they just all of those i think dropped kind of randomly like the i know the red october is dropped on like a wednesday morning at like 11 a.m and people freaked out and no one had any idea what was going on with them they didn't ask it at all no it was complete and i think no. it's because i think with it the was, red you had to be there yeah it was it was crazy like it was funny because i was refreshing the page when it happened too and i still missed out but uh yeah, shoes are like crazy money now right they're like at least five thousand dollars or something the, like oh, that. The, the first the original first two yeah those yeah. are those are money for sure you like those I think they're dope. I yeah. honestly, I prefer them over the Adidas versions, honestly, because they're more like, like, kind of like that basketball sneaker look type of type of look. Oh, they're more comfortable though. That's the question. Yeah, I, 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 I have <laughs> probably not really touch a pair, dude. I've only seen pictures. Probably not. There's nothing beating Boost, man. It's uh, it's not fair what they came out with with Adidas when it comes to comfort. It's not fair. For sure, it's probably, like, the most comfortable shoe ever is Boost. Yeah, so so my question is to you, Doug. What do you prefer, Boost or Air? If you had to wear one constantly for the rest of your life, you it's got to be Boost, dude. It's got to be Boost. Yeah. It's got to be Boost, man. <laughs> the Vapor Max is cool and it's really comfortable. It's a different feeling. Like I saw your video, so I know what you were gonna say. It's a different right. feeling. It still feels good. <laughs> it's not like it feels uncomfortable. I could still wear that shoe for a long period of time. But if you had to pick one, you have to pick Boost. Yeah, you got to for sure. I agree. I mean, there's even it's funny because there's even um. Like, it's almost like um, there's certain people who only like certain kinds of boosts. Like, there's certain people who only only like the, um, I don't know if you've seen them, the 9317s. Like, they're this, uh, they're the shoe that uh, Adidas retroed, and they changed by just adding, like, a shitload of boosts on the bottom. And people, like, 
only wear those shoes now. They won't even wear Ultra Boost. And then there's certain people who won't wear NMDs because they're not as comfortable. So, I mean, even within just Boost, there's like a striation of like people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, crazy. dude, that's me. I feel like the Ultra Boost 3.0 is the coolest looking model and the most comfortable. I remember I picked up the Ultra Boost 1.0 in the triple white when it was like oh, really nice. hyped up. Yeah, I was in yeah. New York City actually at the Soho. Uh, where was I at? I forgot the store I was in. I think it was a finish line. And they had the triple whites and they just came out. He's like, yeah, bro, this shoe is so good. I was like, what is it? I didn't even know what it was. He's like, oh, it's the new Ultra Boost. So I tried it on. It was really comfortable, but it was tight. It felt really tight on my foot. And uh, I don't know. I just didn't really like them too much because of the way that the the patterns looked on it. But the 3.0s mm -hmm. look so much cooler. And that's yeah. the only boost that I like. I don't even wear NMDs or, really? or any other. Yeah, I don't like MMDs. I don't think they look that good. I don't like those two little... Blocks. Honestly, they get in the way. You can feel them every yeah, step. They, they, Are you they serious? Really yeah, yeah, it's not the greatest, the man. It really is. And it looks like it's really narrow when you like put your foot in it. I don't know. That's just how I feel. I don't like the look of the shoe. I agree. And I know when these first dropped, everyone were comparing these uh, to like Lego bricks, which I mean, I totally get. Like that's not a bad comparison. <laughs> yeah. They're, uh, they're definitely not as comfortable. I don't know what it is. The boost is just not as soft. I'm not sure exactly what the deal is, but really quick. Huge shout out to Electric Shock for donating five bucks. I really appreciate it, man. That's hey, awesome. shout out to you, buddy. Thanks. Shout man. out to you, bro. That's dope. Definitely, definitely. Well, uh, let me see what we got here. Um, so, so I was I've been watching <laughs> videos for a while, and uh, Keon was was talking. We were we were coming up with some questions for you, and uh, Keon was like, "Hey, are you gonna talk about the uh, the time Doug spilled burrito on his Yeezys?" And so I'd love to to hear your side of that story. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah, so that was like, know what happened, man? Dude, it was like four or five days not like three days ago it happened it wasn't too long it was like one of my last videos i just posted i think it was my second to last video i went out to brooklyn and i was doing this video of furious p he was eating like a a 30 pound burrito and for the beginning of his intro he had like the 30 pound burrito and he wanted to compare it to a normal size burrito just like a one pound burrito and it had like all this nasty stuff in it the big one had like uh just like chicken steak pork and beans but the little one had these like nasty sauces in it and i'm a really picky eater so um at the end of when we finished doing these videos he told me to try, like, try the little burrito and he was vlogging so i wanted to make his vlog cooler so I'm like all right you know what let me try this little burrito i'm probably not gonna like it but whatever so i take a bite of this thing and it was nasty and i started spitting <laughs> it out and i just didn't think and i spit all of it out just on the center of the easy and i just got the pirate blacks in a size 11 brand new so it was like the second time i wore them Jeez. but surprisingly i just took a paper towel to it and just came right off there's not even a stain or a scratch that's nothing. what i was going to ask you next was like how did you get the burrito out of your shoe but really nothing that was it yeah i think the v1 material feels i think it's easier to clean than the v2 i think the v2 if something gets on that it's going to stick in there longer but i know with the v1 at least with the pirate blacks i just took it right off maybe it's because i did it right away right. or i used some cold water and a paper towel but it came right off and i had no problem that's wow, awesome. that's you lucky, man. At all? I, no, I don't have any of the 750s. I'm not the biggest fan of those. I really like the V1s. They're probably my favorite shoe. The V2s, yeah. the only ones I like are the whites and the zebras. I don't like any of the striped ones. I don't like the belugas. I think they're super ugly. No, I agree with you on that yeah, one. So yeah. Dude, they're so <laughs> ugly looking. I can't do those. I love the triple white, though, and I love the zebra. I wish the zebra didn't have the stripe. I wish it was just like a static pattern throughout. But I, that's why I like the V1 so much, and that's why I like the 3.0 Ultra Boost. They all have that same like static pattern and it just looks so clean. I just love it. I you totally have V2s? Agree. I have two V2s. I have the zebras and the triple white. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, uh, Dub, you didn't like your triple whites, did you? What was the, what was the reason behind oh, it? Because they look like like an Italian ice popsicle stick. Like, Get out of here, dude. They the look new Yeezy? <laughs> triple white Yeezy? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, man. You and I both they got look, these. I, I got dude, them. Dude, they're man. flames. They're, they're so nice. Man. No, I couldn't do it, man. They look like, I, they just look bogey on my feet man I you have them still it. yeah <laughs> and you never wear them <laughs> no I, they're right over here no, so what are you gonna do just them. keep them sitting in your closet just <laughs> nothing, looking at them? i'm just gonna flex for the gram like yeah i got these i nah, get it bro. some people are like that some people don't want to touch them they just want to look at them i get it it's fair nah, man. I, mean, I just don't know what to do with them i'm dude, not gonna wear them dude I'm sure somebody would want to take them from you. Exactly. So, I mean, they're Yeezys, you know? Honestly, hey, if they have something I want, I, they can take them because I just, ah, I couldn't do it. I went I to respect uh, Yeezys. I went to Disney like two weeks ago, and one of the first people I saw when I walked in, there was this kid wearing Yeezys. Like this like 15-year-old kid just like chilling wearing his Yeezys. Dude, in oh, Disney man. World. I feel like nowadays every 12-year-old kid has a pair of Yeezys, man. I Yeezys know. are like, like Skechers now. Like everybody can get them. It doesn't yeah. make sense. There's a pizzeria on my block, and I know the owner, and he has his son come in, right. and his son was wearing Yeezys, and his son's like 11 years old. 
That's crazy. That's and he man. said he said he goes to school and all the other kids like try to step on his shoes and pick fights with him because they're jealous that he has Yeezys. That's ridiculous. I would really? I would be jealous too. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I was 11, I saw another kid with Yeezys for sure. Yeah, it's not that they're hard to get. They're just really expensive. Yeah, exactly. you just really go on the GOAT app and pay a thousand dollars. They'll come. They'll come to you right away. It's just like I don't know. The retail on them is just the resale on them is just crazy. It really is. And, and I mean, it's getting easier to get them. Like you can like the white ones were apparently the most released pair. So, I mean, the resale on these is probably like four or five hundred bucks, which is better than it was. But I mean, they're probably the nicest ones, too, out of all the V2s. I agree. No, I, I agree. I completely I agree with you on the strike. The breads, too. the breads are you like the bread ones. What do you like about the bread ones over the white ones? Is they they remind me of pirate blacks. Uh, See, if they made the pirate black design from the V1 on the V, if they oh made, my gosh. I like the V2, like the look of the shoe, and I wish they had the V1 design on it. If they just copy that same design and put that on the V2, I would love the V2. I totally agree. Yeah, and that's what I've been. That's what I've been sort of like asking for in videos for a while. Is just why? Why doesn't Adidas just take that design? Because that was like the cleanest look out of all of the Yeezys, in my opinion. You know. And it pops. It's just casual looking. It looks nice. That's striped, dude. It's got to go. That's spply. Oh, man. I don't like that thing at all. It, it looks, I mean, honestly, like I love these shoes, but yeah, no, the stripe kind of ruins it for me, especially like it was supposed to be a red stripe, but it came out more of like a salmon. It's like yeah. And then the white, the white doesn't even look white. I know. I know. And no, the weird thing about the the white one too, is that the sole is that like, yellow. Like, it's yellow on the bottom and then it's yellow in the back too, which is really annoying. I don't, know I don't get that. I don't know why they do that. There's got to be a reason. I don't know. Have you seen the pictures of the V3s? Yeah, the blades. Yeah, with the, the blades. Yeah. They look like they have like little sponge holes in them throughout the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, like, is that a shoe that you wear with socks or do you wear like bare feet? I don't know what to do in that situation because you're definitely going to see what you're wearing. You just have to wear the same color socks as, as the shoes at, all the time. Yeah. Oh, that's transparent. That goes straight through the shoe. Like you can see, so, yeah, yeah, the holes you can like kind of probably, I don't, haven't seen them on feet, but it looks like you can see right through to your foot. Yeah, I don't know why they're going so crazy with it, man. Yeah, well, it's Kanye, I feel like, man. I feel like they're just going to keep on getting more diluted and they're going to get easier and then nobody's going to buy them. I think that eventually will happen. I, I kind of hope it doesn't because there's something nice about having like the exclusivity of it. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. And Kanye did say years ago, like anyone who wants Yeezys will eventually be able to get Yeezys, whether that actually happens or not. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. But if you keep the V1s, they're not going to re-release those. No, yeah, I don't think they are, which sucks. So if you have those, they're you're actually good. skyrocketing in price, aren't there? Aren't the V1s are, super yeah. expensive now? Yeah. The total is like at least two grand. It's crazy. Oh I mean, my like, God, two grand? I didn't know that. No, it's funny because I was the, the, maybe it was 2015 when they first dropped. I was, um, I was on like, I was at Flight Club and they were going for 600 bucks. And I was like, should I grab these? I'm not sure if the price is going to go up or not. And then of course, I mean, it jumped up. It's crazy. So I should have grabbed them. Yeah, I think the cheapest one is a thousand. The pirate blacks are like probably the cheapest V1. Yep. I mean, to be honest, they're my second favorite. I wouldn't be mad at having them, you know? Yeah, those are my second favorite too. It goes pirate black, it goes turtle dub, pirate black, and then I don't know. The moon rock and the tans is just kind of a toss up to me. They're all nice, but oh, I always go to the turtle and pirate black. You got both of them, right? The two, the, the uh, moon rocks and tans? Yeah, the tans are just like brighter. The moon rocks are more like a green. Oh, they're kind of like sense. a greenish color in a sense. That's it's nice. Heard. It yeah. kind of matches your outfit right now, Seth. Hell yeah. You should actually rock it with that outfit. It would look perfect. <laughs> that was like the color of your hat. It's like the color of your hat. Exactly. Actually, you know what's funny? No one ever sees the other side of the hat because I never wear it the other way around. Hey. Yeah, I know. I really should get a hat. <laughs> or something because I can't keep repping Vans like this. Actually, the yeah, soul in the on, back man. of my video is a Vans too. It's like a Vans Authentic, I think. What, were you like a skater back in the day? Do you skate? I, I used to. I was like total shit at it. Like it was. I couldn't even call myself one. But um, I used to work in the retail, like vans in the retail store um, in Baltimore where I grew up. So it was. Um, they just had a giant display, and I stole the uh, soul off of it. You Jam stole that? It was like one of those things where they were they were gonna throw it out eventually, but they they didn't have like a time. And I'd asked if I could keep it, and they said no. So one day I was closing down the store, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna grab it." You made the executive uh, decision to steal <laughs> exactly. it. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you got it. You know, and it's, it's been with me since what? Since maybe 2009 or something like that. So it's almost been 10 years that I've had this thing. So like, what if that store saw your videos today and saw that in the backdrop of your videos? You think they? What if they like tried to see you or something, dude? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they would uh, send some free vans my way. I don't know. That'd be sweet. <laughs> so what made you That's move from? Much. What made you move to New York? So for me, it was I went to college in Philly, um, and then from there, I just couldn't find any jobs in Philly, so I moved up to Queens without a job, not realizing that it's as expensive as it is. And uh, I just I just eventually got lucky, found a job, and then, I mean, YouTube started happening, and 
I, the thing about uh, New York is that they have everything all the time. So the sneaker culture is amazing up here. So I think that the reason I'm able to have like some sort of following in, in, in YouTube is because I'm able to get some releases right when they come out because they'll have like special pop ups and things like that. So this is uh, I mean, it's a great place. I love it. Did you did you remember when the Vapor Max Oreos dropped like two weeks, a month ago or so, like three weeks ago? Yep. I went into New York City that day and I've never been to a shoe release in my entire life, but really? I had this gift card from my dad since Christmas. He gave me a $200 Nike gift card and I wanted to save it for the Vapor Max when it came out. Right. And I didn't like the platinum colorway too much. I wasn't in love with it. It was cool, but I wasn't in love with it. And I knew that the triple blacks were coming and the other ones were coming, but I had the triple blacks. I wanted to get the Oreos really bad. So I right. drove into New York City. I made a video about it and I went to uh, the Nike lab. Yeah. And Mercer. So I was waiting outside there. There's a bunch of grown ass men with me too. So it felt kind of weird. Like <laughs> I feel like I'm growing up, you know, I'm only 22, but I feel like I'm like 30, you know? And there's like all these grown men and they're all waiting outside the store. And then the guy walks out of the store. He's like, we don't have the Vapor Max Oreo. Try Nike Soho. So all these men start running to the next one. I sprinted, I sprinted to it. And I was the first one on the line. They didn't have the shoe. That's crazy. They what? said that they only, they didn't have size 11. I was like, how do you not have a size 11? They were probably lying. Do you think that they do that? Do you think that they lie to keep the shoe? They do sometimes. If they've already, like, sometimes they'll backdoor pairs. Backdoor, so yeah. Friends. Yeah, that's the worst. Um, if you know someone at a store and, like, they – sometimes they'll sell you the shoe early or whatever it is. It's it's not it's not cool for them to do. Um, yeah, because I went to finish line for the um, Oceans, the Parley Oceans, because I didn't have okay. any blue Ultra Boost. So I went to the finish line the day before because I was in the area. I was right. like, hey, you guys are going to get them. He's like, yeah, we have them. My boy works there, and he wasn't there at the day. And I was like, oh, do you have the shoe? He's like, yeah, we have them in the back. I was like, yo, can I get them now? Like, I'll pay you an extra 100 bucks. And he really was about to do it. Right. And he didn't do it, but I just showed up the next day, and I got him. Right. And then um, the insole for the shoe was messed up. It was all bent. Really? And I was like, hey, man, like, can I swap this out? I looked at the shoe when I put it on. He's like, oh, no, just wear it. It's going to be fine. I was like, dude, I just bought this brand new. Can you yeah. swap it out for me? He goes to the back. He's like, yeah, we only have one size 11. I was the first person in the store. How do you only have one size 11 of the shoe? It's not that exclusive. It's selling for retail on Goat. Exactly. It's yeah. not like selling for $2,000 or something. It's not like the shoes are that hard to get. I don't know why they're all so – I just feel like they don't want to sell you the shoe. Sometimes it's really, it's all like weird politics, like within their company or whatever it is. Um, you can never tell, you never know. The best way to like get releases is to befriend someone in the store. And a lot of times, like they're not going to sell you stuff early, but they can at least tell you when and where to get it. Like if there's a quick strike coming or something like that. Um, and honestly, where you were at 21 Mercer and like that Nike Soho store, that whole area has like six different, that's, that's where I go for all my sneakers. Um, yeah. That whole area has like six different stores. And if you can't find something at one store, usually like Kith will have it or Adidas or wherever it is that you need to grab it from. But yeah, and just going back to that conversation, when I was waiting on the line, um, so I went to the other Nike, they said they didn't have my size. So right. I ran back to the other one because my car was parked in front of it and it was about to open. I'm like, I'm gonna check the store. Like my car's right here. I drove two and a half hours in this traffic to New York City. I'm gonna try the store. I walked into the store and they had them. Everybody was sitting there and everybody got a pair of the shoe. I don't know why the guy lied and made everyone go the other way. Jesus Christ. And then also when I was waiting on that line before I went to the Nike Soho, these two guys came up in brief they had like suits on and briefcases. And they're like, Yeah, we got the new Vapor Max, the asphalt one at the Nike Soho. They had the Oreos there. We didn't get those there because you can only get one pair of shoes per customer. So we're oh, gonna get them yeah, here. Yeah. But I promise you they have the Oreos in the other store. The dude was lying because they didn't have them in the other store. Jesus He's Christ. just trying to get us off the line. I feel like everyone is just a fiend, dude. Like they really want to just get the shoe and screw you over. It's cut the workers, the people, everybody, dude. It really is. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where it's like they're actually like they're they're trying to hustle, like they're trying to resell and make money as quickly as possible. And so for them, like they're going to do whatever they can to get the shoe first, because as soon as like everyone gets the shoe, then the market's flooded and the price drops for that first couple hours or that first day. The shoe the always goes up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Unless if it's a V1 easy or like a red October or something, exactly. right? Exactly. But yeah, how can yeah. you tell? You'll never know, right? The thing is sometimes like. Nike will let you know whether it's going to be limited or not sometimes. And in that case, you can know. Or if it's like a retro of a really popular release. Like, so for the, um, I don't know if you, do you, do you uh, know anything about Air Jordan 1s at all? Barely. Only from your right. videos, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome to hear, man. They look pretty nice. Like the Royal Blue. Yep. You just picked up the Royal Blues. Those look pretty cool. And I like the reds better. I agree with you. I love red. It's my favorite color. Same, dude. I love it. Um, yeah, so the thing about them is they're like they're the classic Jordan ones, like the blue one and the red one. Those are the classic ones, and also that uh, that red pair in the back. Um, and those shoes, whenever they retro, they do it maybe every three or four years. And those pairs always sell out because there's it's like, I mean, it's like the signature Jordan shoe, like it's the one that everyone remembers him playing in when he first started. And so those shoes are always going to have high resale, um, and they're usually relatively limited. 
Um, but I mean, there's other shoes like some Ultra Boosts. You never know if a certain colorway is going to sell out before another one. The only time you can really tell is if you're following like sneaker Twitter or, or sneaker YouTube, yeah. and you can sort of get the idea from there. But it's usually the collab ones that are the expensive ones, like the sneakers and stuff. And oh, and yeah. uh, yeah, kit no, ones those go quick, man. Well, like the Pharrell collaborations, like the Pharrell, uh, what M NMDs, yep. like those are always crazy resale on Goat. Yep. What'd you think of those? Did you like those? They're okay. Yeah. Nothing special. I would. I want to drop the money on them, in my opinion. But I know why people would. So. Exactly. I mean, I like that they're colorful. I, I, there's not enough colorful shoes anymore. Like they, like I feel like back in the day when when you know basketball shoes and Air Jordans were really really hype. Like everything was really colorful and it was like popping and all that sort of stuff. But now it's like it's sort of gotten more subtle, which I appreciate because I can wear more of it. But it's right. kind of nice to see like some you know crazy shoes come out every so often just to get that pop of color in there. That's why I like the Vapor Maxes. I think their colorways are so cool. Definitely. They're coming out like a purple one too. It's going to be nuts. I saw that one. I don't. For I women. Don't for women, it'll be cool. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, not enough. for me. I'm, I can't wear that. <laughs> <laughs> my first pair of, uh, my first pair of um, Jordan Futures. It's like this woven Jordan. It was, a, it was the purple pair because I, I saw, this is going to sound fucking hella lame, but I saw a picture of a. Uh, Justin Bieber wearing them, and I was like, "Oh, does that?" <laughs> <laughs> so, did you still have those shoes? Uh, no, I got rid of them real quick because they. I mean, honestly, like, <laughs> so I'm right now, dude. You lying. see him? Lying. This, 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 this is going to be on the internet forever. What I just said. So, like, <laughs> so yeah. I got a Justin Bieber wallpaper with it too. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got it covered up with his shoe. <laughs> I mean, the dude can sing. Like, I can't fault him for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were at the Eastern Conference Finals. Are you a big Cavs fan? Is that your team? LeBron, I don't care about the Cavs. I care about LeBron. LeBron fan. Yo, did you see him like do that half court or no full court one arm shot that he did? That was a while back though, right? Well, I thought no, I thought it was it a while back. I, I, the video I, of him from like one end of a court in the corner just yeah, chucking up like that. Yeah, that was. I thought that happened. Ago. I think I saw that last year. I thought, but I did just see it again recently. That's when I thought. That's when I first saw it. I was just like, when I saw that, I was like, oh damn, Celtics. Dude, he's insane, man. I went to uh, I went to Game Seven of the Finals last year, and I watched that block. I was right behind the the hoop that he blocked it at, and then oh, I saw Kyrie during that three. And I don't know, like ever since he went to the Heat and he won his first championship, I was in Austin at the X Games, right. and I was watching it at like a bar with all the phase. And I think they beat um the Thunder, and everyone was just like going crazy in Austin, Texas, because like I don't know if you ever been there, but on Sixth Street, it's like the party place. Everyone's crazy. And I don't know, I just always like LeBron because I always like seeing a player that could be the greatest of all time. I just like to follow mm -hmm. people that are great. And sure. um, I don't know, I just really like the way he played. And I was like, damn, dude, I just want to keep watching it. And, you know, he ended up winning a couple of titles and going to the finals. So I was like, all right, this is my guy. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I think that obviously there's a big debate whether he's the greatest of all time or it's Jordan. And I think the main, like, the main sticking point for people is that Jordan has six rings. He won every final that he went to, whereas LeBron's been to what, like seven finals and probably eight coming up. And he, how many rings does he have, Doug? Do you know? He's got three. He's three, three for four. Yeah. The, he's three and four in the finals. But it's it's lame though. Like, all right, so I'll compare it to Call of Duty, right? right. I got this check right over here on this wall. This is the national championship. No I'm way. four for four. Yeah, I won it when I was 17. I'm four for four in the finals. I've been to the finals with four different teams on three right. different Call of Duty games. Like, I've done it on so many different games with so many different players, and I've never lost in the finals, but I'm not the best player. I'm a great player, but I'm not the best. You know what I mean? Like, right. I'm not trying to say Michael Jordan wasn't the best player in his team every single year that he won it. Right. All I'm trying to say is that you can't really can you can't by yourself win an NBA championship. Like, you need That's to have good great. players around you. Yeah. I think Jordan was just a perfect storm. I never watched him play, but he's a perfect storm of just a great player, a great system, great coaching, great. You know, he's, everything just went his way. You know, yeah. I just think everything was just perfect for him, and I think he deserves it. I think he's great. But I think when it's all said and done, LeBron's going to be the greatest. I don't know. I never. I watched that dude play in person three yeah. times. I watch him on TV every single night. Like I've never seen somebody as good as him. Yeah, he's insane. He really is. You can't deny his skill. He's definitely. He's, he's definitely at least good. top two of all time. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Right now, if he retired, he'd at least be known as the second best. I think. For sure. No, he's he's incredible. I mean, he's he's unmatched. He really is. Are you going to any more games this season? No, probably not. Fair enough. Who do you think is going to win the whole thing? It's gonna be tough, dude. Seriously, it will. I mean, obviously, it's gonna be Golden State and Cleveland. Right. Exactly. I don't know, I, dude. Like watching Cleveland play in person, they were crazy. I feel like the Warriors. I feel like the Spurs could lose to the Warriors. I mean, the Warriors could lose to the Spurs if Kawhi was healthy. They were right. smacking them in Game One. They almost beat them last night without Kawhi even playing. So I think if Kawhi was playing, they had a chance of beating them. So 
And I think the Cavs are a lot better than the Spurs, even with Kawhi. So I think the Cavs could take it. I really do. I think if LeBron just keeps doing what he's doing, I think they have a really good shot. I think it'll be a really great finals. Oh, for um, sure. For sure. I, I want to say – seven, No question. I want to say the Warriors, but just because they lost it last year, and I feel like yeah. they'll have that chip on their shoulder. Awesome. Yeah. Sure. But I wouldn't be surprised either way who wins it. I want to see the Cavs, though. For sure. For sure. No, that would be the great. The Warriors were up 3-1 three, three, last year, and they just – blew it like somehow dude and the crazy thing about it i was there like when they lost they lost in the last second of the fourth quarter you know, know like it was close crazy. all the way through and the fans weren't even mad when they lost they were just like sitting there smiling walking out of the arena and like i'm sitting there with my friend who's wearing a Cavs jersey and they're like oh great game man congratulations let's go play <laughs> really? some golf now yeah they weren't even <laughs> mad like dude, like you would think there'd be some crazy drunk guy like smacking bottles around and like kicking shit <laughs> Yep. Dude, they were like, oh, yeah, that's great. I'm going to go play some golf. You know, like, I I, don't, I just felt like they didn't even care that they lost. They're like, yeah, we won it last year. I'm like, what? I don't know. That was me. I'd be so mad. Yeah, Sarah, no. I, I was mad, and I, I'm not even – I live in Boston, so. Oh, what damn, dude. about last night, dude? I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You like the Celtics? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk Celtics about it. Celtics fan? Uh, by birth, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, they're a good team, dude. They got a bright future. I don't know. They, they just – they're just facing a, a team that is just on a mission, man. That's what it comes they're, down to. They're, they're exactly. rebuilding their team. They're doing. I think they're doing really good for for the team. But the Cavs, man, they they're just next level, dude. It's like the Warriors. Like they're just next level. They're just that yeah. good. I wouldn't be surprised if if uh, the if the uh, Celtics got Lonzo Ball next year. You think they're gonna take him? I think he. I was. I, I, was, I was. I don't know about that. Do you think they're really? gonna take him? He, they gotta get rid of Isaiah Thomas then. Yeah. Well, I heard, oh, wait, that's I heard like, rumblings of a trade. I don't know who it was. I forget exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of fuzzy on it. I didn't read into it too much, but I wouldn't be surprised if they got him. Because Isaiah Thomas can't play defense. I think he's great. He just can't yeah. play defense. Though. I feel like if they got Lonzo Ball and trade Isaiah Thomas for a couple of good players, I think they could be really good. Totally. I don't think I know you don't like that. You don't like that, though. No, he doesn't I mean, like not that. Not, yeah, not, a, not at all. Not at all. But I did hear that they was going to get Gordon Haywood. And if I do, that they do he's that, really I good. So he's one of my favorite players. He's him a great player. And, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. If, if they got him, they'd be really good. Yeah. I hope that happens. I really hope that happens. But it don't matter. Cat is, <laughs> Cat is still going to be. <laughs> I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. It <laughs> don't matter. Man. As long as LeBron's playing. <laughs> do you think the Celtics can even win one game in this series? Like, do you think if Isaiah shot? Thomas was there, if Isaiah Thomas was there, I had hopes for at least one game. I had hopes. But he's out now. He's out for the rest of the playoffs. Yeah, he's, I know. So There's I, nothing I, they're going to do, man. They threw in the no, towel. It's, it's it, yeah. It did. Hey, man, at least you made it this far, you know. <laughs> at least you I think. It. Hey, we got called the number one C, so I'm just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> there's no rings, so I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not important. Who cares about rings in the league? Eh. Oh, yeah, no, no one. No one at all. <laughs> Actually, Doug, I had, a, I had a question for you. It's a little off topic. I uh, I just watched a trailer for uh, Call of Duty World War II. Are you excited for that? Is that yes, dude, like? absolutely. I can't wait, man. I don't know. Do you play Call of Duty a lot? A little, I suck. I'm terrible, but I have it in the living room. <laughs> I'll play it every night, but, like, shh, I, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> dude, yes. It's going to be so good, man. I remember um, what got me into Call of Duty to begin with was COD 4, Modern Warfare. When I was, you know, like 12, 10 years ago. But then World at War was the next Call of Duty title. And that was like what made me addicted. That World War II yeah. style to me. I don't know what it is. I just really love playing that. So I can't wait for this game. And nobody likes the jetpacks. I think everybody knows. Yeah. It's been yeah, no, it sucks. I don't know times why they did that. Yeah. It was, it actually, it wasn't bad to play a competitive. Like I stopped playing probably in the middle of Black Ops 3. So like last Call of Duty. And it wasn't bad to play competitive. When you're playing against other good players, it's fun. But to just hop on a game like how you say, just hopping on and having fun and like ranking up and prestiging and unlocking guns, dude, right. it was so boring. It was dreadful. I couldn't do it. Yeah, that's why I play Modern Warfare Master like almost every night. I just enjoy it. Yeah, it's so much yeah. fun. And yeah, Modern Warfare Two was the first one I ever played, and I love that game. That right. one was good too. Yeah. yeah, I think I think my favorite console of all time was the 360, and that's because I had Halo Three and I had Modern Warfare One and all those sort of games, dude. It was I love that console. 360 was a great console, man. Totally. They stepped usually, in a, Oh, yeah, they totally did. I mean, yeah. it was... Uh, do you usually play PC or do you play other consoles as well? I started on PlayStation 3. I never played PC. I played MapleStory and RuneScape as a kid. Nice. Like, that was in middle school. And then I got into Call of Duty when I was 12. MapleStory, dude. You just threw it back. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, dude. That was the game back... <laughs> I used, I used to be a, that too. Dude, I was so embarrassed because it sounded like so... Like, I was a kid. I was yeah. 11. But yeah. it made me feel like I was five years old playing this exactly. game. Exactly. 
Like, did you guys play Neopets when you were like really, really little? Remember Neopets? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh like my five, God. No, when you were like five years old, seven, <laughs> yeah. five. You're cool. you were cool when you were five. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not even cool now. So, I mean, it's. He's like, he's like, yeah, I still collect all the Neopets. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, next, to my Justin now, Bieber poster. And next to my Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. This live stream, man. I'm going to look like Oh, my God. God. It's too good. Oh, yeah, that, Neopets was a game when I was like really little. Then it was Maple Story. No, then it was RuneScape. Then it was Maple Story. Then it was Call of Duty when I was 12. And it's been Call of Duty since then. I never played anything else. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I actually never had a 360 until like maybe a month or two ago. My little sister what? gave me hers. Really? I've always been PlayStation my entire life. Yeah, PS3, baby. I started yeah. with PS3 all day, man. I was I was one of those guys who was late to the game. Like I got an N64 when everyone was on PS2. So I was a little late. But N64 uh, like, was good too, though. It was great, dude. Mario Kart, Mario oh, Party. Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Brothers. Exactly. Yes. Zelda. Yes. Zelda was good. That was incredible. Do you get the Nintendo Switch? Yeah, yeah. I, I've been playing Zelda, but it's one of those things that I just don't have a lot of time to, to play on. And I'll take it to work and stuff. Like, or I would take it to work, but I'm just afraid to whip it out in the subway because, you know, you never know who's going to grab it. <laughs> you think people are going to steal it? I wouldn't be surprised, especially because, like, they could they could just grab the tablet if they wanted to, and I would just be holding the controller. Oh, the yeah, even though you're yeah. holding it, they could grab the whole thing out of your hands if you're not – like, if you're yeah. sucked into the game, you're not going to be, like, holding it so hard. So if somebody really tried to grab that, they could take it. Yep. Yeah, that's and, and me and my buddies, we play Mario Kart 8, and it's dope. It's mad fun. But, like, yeah. trying to play on that little thing, dude, it kills oh, me. Like, I need controller? a controller? Yeah. yeah. Like, I got these big old whopping hands. I need, you know what I mean? I can't I can't use that little <laughs> stick. <laughs> I'm actually uh just going back to shoes. I'm going to Columbia really soon because my that's girlfriend awesome. wants to go there for, for like, uh, her – she wants to get, like, veneers for her teeth. Oh, very cool. And there's, like, this really good doctor down there, so – I don't trust it though, bro. I think I'm gonna die. So like, I'm not bringing any Yeezys. I'm not bringing any jewelry. I'm bringing, yeah. I'm bringing like core black ultra boost and like one pair of gym shoes. I'd probably just bring that one pair of shoes, dude. I'm not Yo, trusting I anybody. Just, I saw that video and immediately when you say Columbia, I thought of Narcos. I saw you. Did you see that show? I've heard of it before. I've seen oh, a lot of drug man. shows. I've watched Breaking Bad. I've watched some Spanish yeah. Telemundo. <laughs> I've seen a lot of them before. So yeah, dude. Did you see that movie, uh, Cesario, last year? No, I didn't see it. Was uh, it good? Yeah, it's about like drugs and like the cartel and everything. So it was really good. And dude, I'm not bringing it because I know I'll be a target if I'm wearing Yeezys down over there. I'm not. Sure. They definitely know what Yeezys are in Colombia, right? Oh, 100. Yeah, Yeezys. Yeah, gonna get, that's worldwide. I'm gonna get killed, man. I'm not bringing those. Yeah. There. No way. <laughs> as low profile as possible, for sure. Exactly. Some nice jean shorts, some core black ultra boots, exactly. and like a regular white t-shirt. Yeah, that's, dude, it. that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh man, that's great. That's great. When are you leaving? I have no idea. We're supposed to leave tomorrow, but oh, wow. we gotta go to we gotta go to a wedding this weekend, so we're gonna like push it back. We don't know when yet. Oh, wow. nice. Very cool. Very cool. Dude, honestly, I did the same thing the very first time I ever went to California, because I, I know like like the the gangs originated there, so I just wore black and white. <laughs> oh, Cali's not that bad, man. What part <laughs> yeah, of Cali are you going to? It was my it was my first time going to Cali. I was like, oh, this is what that this is what I heard. So just wore black and white. Honestly, you'll probably find as many people wearing Yeezys and like hyped up clothing over there and then anywhere else in the world. Like LA, they all wear that stuff, dude. Exactly. I'd, say, I'd argue even more than New York. Like, Definitely, yeah. Because yeah. New York's more like financial district and, you know, working. Like, LA is more of entertainment and people who exactly. want to like stand out and look nice. So, yep. Totally. I mean, but it's also like, it's surprising. Like, I'll be on the subway and you could probably, every morning on the way to work, I could probably count like two pairs of Yeezys on like people you'd never expect. And I don't know if, if they're fake or maybe if they're they're just like, they just got lucky. I don't know what the deal is. But it's like, hard to find the difference between a fake and a real man. <sighs> Yo, impossible. It's impossible. It really is. Like, they're just getting really better is. and better. I remember back in the day with face, you can be, it was clear as day. It was colorways that never even came out. You see the ones in the mall where they have like the glow up thing on the bottom of it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember I went to a Universal two weeks ago and a woman had some shoes on and they were like these blue Yeezys. And I was like, what is this, dude? Oh yeah, the blue Yeezys that came out never. Yeah, totally. I'm surprised they never came out with like a different color. They always they always have like those very neutral colors. I'm surprised they never did something crazy. I feel like it's. I feel like Kanye is on this whole. I don't know if you've seen any of his like uh, season four stuff or any of his like clothing, but it's all like really almost like. Um, like derelict, like a uh, friggin' homeless person sort of like aesthetic. I don't like any of his clothing at all. Yeah, no. It looks like I, straight up Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah, to it's be, bad. To be fair, though, my girlfriend did get me a tank top. And Jordan, if you're watching this, I love you so much. It's a dope tank top. Um, 
<laughs> no, no, it, it's the one thing that like I have that I actually dig, and I think it's I think it's mostly because it was a gift. But uh, I actually I mean, I can mess the tank top though, though. You know What's what I mean? That? Yeah, I mean, right? I can mess the tank top up. Exactly. I, that's well. Yeah, to be to be fair about the tank top. <laughs> so usually, like the tank tops that I wear, I won't wear the ones that like come all the way to like the edge of my shoulders because it looks like I'm wearing like a cut off shirt. Yeah. I usually just wear like the regular like like band ones, and the one that the easy one that she got like almost goes over my shoulders because I think it's just oversized. And I have to wear like under stuff because I can't, I can't be walking. Because I'm like Irish as hell. Like I, I can't, like I'm, I'm the, the whitest person you'll ever meet. So it looks right. awful <laughs> if I'm just walking around in like a cut off, like oversized tank top. So I gotta, I gotta wear it like a sweatshirt or something over it. What size is it? Like a large, a medium? I think it's a medium. Yeah. Maybe you get like an extra small and it'll fit nice. Yeah, they run exactly, like right? three sizes too big. Double extra small or something. <laughs> uh, you can't tell with this stuff. It would be dope if they came out with a red Yeezy. I think if that that happened, that'd probably be like my favorite the V2? shoe. Yeah, I don't know, just sick. a general, just like a red looking easy. Or if they came out with the triple white V1, I think that would look nice too. That would look sick. Well, they had, they they had samples do of them. Like, yeah, but they never sold them. I know. It sucks because, like, uh, you know, obviously the Kardashians get all, like, the really nice pairs. And they have all these pairs that have never come out. Yeah. Like, they even have, like, baby red Octobers or something like that. It's crazy. Um, but, I mean, it would be sick if they come out with the red colorway. I know they're dropping, like, a, actually something similar to, like, maybe a forest green or, like, a kind of tannish green colorway. That's coming out. That's the next one, right? Yeah, I think so. That, that one's actually, not bad. That one's not bad. Yeah. Do you know when the new ones are coming out, the V3s? Is it going to be this year? I have no idea. I don't think they have a release date at all. I think they're just like pictures right now. Yep. The thing about the thing about like uh, Yeezys and sneaker Twitter is that everyone kind of just puts out dates, not really knowing if it's the truth or not. And then some people will get lucky and it'll end up being that date. But until like the actual brand tells you something specific, you can't, it's all like guessing. Yeah. You never know. I, mean, Actually, I just saw stuff. a picture. I don't know if it's true or not, but I saw a picture that they're coming out with. I think it's called the Ice Blue Zebras. Is that real? Did you did you guys see that? It was like for November. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. Is it looking? It's if you like zebras. Bad. I'm going to Google yeah. it right now. Ice Blue Easy Zebra. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I might actually be able to screen share it too. Let me pull it up. Ice Blue. They have I it on know. eBay. <laughs> it's on eBay. It's on eBay. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend buying. All those. I'm getting is like ice skates when I'm doing. Like, I don't see it. Ice blue. Z Do you know Yeezy. the exact name, um, Keon? Uh, like the exact name of them? It was. It was a. It was a reputable source that that tweeted oh, I it. Was, I saw it was the like Yeezy Mafia earlier. or something like that, right? Somebody. Like Do we lose you again, Keon? Oh, we got you. Of the V twos. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, the V twos. I mean, it basically, basically, it looks like uh, they look zebra. like the, they're the zebras, but it's like light blue. <laughs> it's like a baby blue, and then like the stripes are like a slightly darker shade of blue, and then there's some grays in there too. Oh, it I see looks it. Really clean, yeah. But I think there's still like the S P L Y in red. Which, what do you think that stands for? Because I heard, I heard two things. I heard Saint Pablo loves you, and I heard yeah, like that's what I heard. Supply. Like, right? like it's supposed to be supply, but just oh, SPLY. Uh, yeah, 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 that would make my sense. My thing is, is like, I, I thought it was supply for the longest time. And then I made this video where I, I said it was supply and I got so much heat in the comments, not even realizing that St. Pablo Loves You was actually something that people thought because it was, like, that's the weirdest thing to put on a shoe. I don't understand it. So I'm sure it means something that's probably neither of those things, but I have no idea what it could be. Do you think Kanye has control of everything of how they look? I here's my so the reason he left Nike and went to Adidas is because he'd get more creative control. But I'm sure there's designers like I'm sure it's one of those I'm sure it's like a creative director sort of position where he's like, I'm looking for this sort of thing. Here's like a rough sketch or a rough idea of what I want. And then they probably show him like iterations or different versions. And then he can be like, yes, no, that sort of thing. So I'm sure I feel like with his clothing, though, he actually does have a pretty big because it, that's not through Adidas. I feel like that's mostly him or at least someone that he trusts. So and do you think like because they don't make so many pairs of the shoe, where is he getting his money from? Like, wouldn't somebody like Shaq who sells twenty dollars like you seen the thing with Lonzo Ball, right? With the five hundred dollars <laughs> yeah. shoes compared to the twenty dollars shoes, you would think if more people are buying it, then you'd make more money. Like with Yeezys, although they're so hyped up and people love them and people always want to buy them, like you're not selling that many of them. So are you really making that much money off of it? I think it's one of those things where it's more, it's almost like a promotion tool for them. Like they, they sell a bunch of Yeezys. Everyone knows that Adidas makes Yeezys. So people will try and buy shoes that either look like Yeezys or, you know, that are also hyped like Ultra Boost. So I think well, it's- Well, they'll go to Ultra Boost or they'll go to NMDs. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I think we lost Keon again, but that's okay. Uh, guys, if you guys have any questions for us, make sure to leave them in the comments. We'll get to them in a couple minutes for sure. All right. So what's your next sneaker pickup going to be? Uh, 
Well, I'm getting the Chinese New Year's and I'm getting the oh, yeah. the reigning champs, your favorite Ultra Boost. I love those, dude. Those are so awesome. Are you getting the 1.0s or the new ones? The 1.0s. They're so much nicer. Dude, they really are. Yeah, the 3.0s are just like whatever. They're nice, but they're just like whatever. It's just like a gray Ultra. I, I'd love to get them, but I just don't want to drop like 300 bucks in a pair of shoes that looks like other pairs of shoes that are. Exactly. Yet. You can just get like a gray Ultra Boost, even a triple white. I like the or the Oreos are probably my favorite 3.0s. Those are so they nice. Stick. Um. For my next shoe, I don't think I'm going to get the new Yeezy, to be honest, because I have the Tans and the Moon Rocks. Totally, yeah. So I don't feel like I need them. And I Unless prefer they... those to the V2s anyway. I'm a guy who – I like to get, like, different colors of shoes first. Like, I'll start with, like, a white pair and a black pair, neutral nice. colors. And the Yeezys are all neutral colors. And there's no other Yeezy that I like, so I don't think I'll get any of them unless they have something that's really cool. Did you see the glow-in-the-dark ones that were going to come out? I think eventually – I think actually these new ones coming out may be glow-in-the-dark. They look they're like – like gray with, with the stripes. stripes. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure when those are coming out or if I'm not sure because they like a bunch of colorways will be leaked and then you never know which one's actually going to come out or not. I would love yeah. it if those came out because there's some honestly like even though all our shoes, you know, in, in like kindergarten and stuff were glow in the dark or they had lights or whatever. There's something still about that. I think everyone likes and I don't understand it, but they're pretty dope. I'm gonna be Here, I'm going to send you the link right now on Twitter oh, yeah. and you could put this in the live stream if you want. I don't yeah. know if that's going to pop up. Click that link real quick. Let's see. Don't look at the main picture where it looks black. Like, look at the other ones and click them. It's like a, a gray with, like, the black stripe. Okay. That's the only time I think the stripe looks good on the Yeezy. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, those ones are that actually looks nice. Really cool. Those look really cool. I would cop those if they came out with them. Let me try and screen share these guys. Here we go. Yeah, no, these are actually sick. I actually yeah. really, really love these. Yeah, I, I really like that. I would buy that if it came out. For sure. Especially since, like, there's no, like, random crazy color. Like, I think the red, like you said, on the zebras, like, I think the stripe kind of, like, there's still a dope-looking shoe, but that stripe definitely kind of ruined it. And it's not so much the stripe for me. It's just that red text. It was, like, that kind of came out of nowhere. If the text was black, it would look better. Exactly. Totally agree. No, and on this shoe, the stripe looks good. I think we have really similar taste. For sure. For sure. No, these are actually, I would, I would definitely try and grab these. Yeah, I would grab these if they came out, but I don't think I'm going to get those tans. Um... And I don't know. I want to see them do something crazy. I want to see them come out with like a, a red Yeezy. I think if they came out with a red Yeezy, I would definitely cop that. Or um, I don't know, a blue one or a green one or something. I don't know, just something that's different because I feel like all the Yeezys are really similar with colors. Totally. I agree. Yo, Keon, if you were trying to grab – oh, you're back. Awesome. If you, were, if you were to pick any color to make a Yeezy for like a Yeezy V2, what would you do? What color? Ooh, any color? Any color. Uh. It's a weird color. It's a I, I don't know the name of it. it. It's a it's like a teal green type of color. Like it's called I call it Makita green because you know that power tool Makita. That's like one of my favorite colors. So I do like that and probably like some kind of black mix. Right. That'd be pretty cool. Wait, show him real quick the the ones that we were just talking about. Apparently they were gonna come out kind of like how you said they had samples for the V1 triple white and right. then they just stopped selling it. They just didn't want to do it. I don't know why. But apparently this was gonna be a easy too and it just didn't come out. You know what's crazy? I wanted to buy them in a fake because they sell the fake of this version. I wanted right. to compare that to, yeah, check that out. Look at, don't look at the glow in the dark part of it. Like, look at the, the one with like the gray and the black on the screen right there. Oh, I've yeah. seen these. Yeah, 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 I've seen those. Those are fire. Yeah, no, those are those. Are, that's a dope colorway. Those are cool. Yeah, that looks really dope. Um, I wanted I to buy in the dark though. Apparently, there's like a bunch of fakes, like fake websites and fake places that sell these shoes, and apparently that's why they're not selling this one. So I went on the website and I tried to buy them and I wanted to compare the fake to one of my real pairs to see how different they are. Right. And they tried to steal my money. They wouldn't even send me the shoe. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I had to call my credit card company and get the, the payment reimbursed. <laughs> like they, they took my payment and it went through on my credit card and then they sent me an email two days later saying that the payment couldn't go through on PayPal and they needed me to send them another payment. And I was like, what are you talking about? I looked at my credit card and it went through. I was like, all right, you know what? Screw yeah, this. I'm nah, just going to cast this over. Mess with those wonky sites, man. We don't mess with those wonky sites. Yep. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about fakes anyways? You, you rock See, fakes? I don't know because I've never had, or at least I don't think I've ever had a fake before. I get all my Yeezys through people that I trust or I get them through GOAT. I'd say all of them came through GOAT now that I had, but I had pairs in the past that came through third parties. And all the ones that I had were the exact same, like, I don't think I've ever been given a fake. I feel like I would have spot the difference. I've seen a lot of videos. I spent hours online watching videos, comparing fakes to reels, looking at subtle little differences. And right. all my pairs check out the way that I think they do. They all feel really good. So 
I've never seen a fake pair of Yeezys in my life, or at least I don't think I have. And if I do have a fake pair, I don't know that they're yeah, fake. Yeah, there's no one. Exactly. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to know, yeah. They're, they're scary close, honestly. And it gets it gets worse and worse the more V2s that drop. Because honestly, the V2s in general, because they're like a knit shoe, it's really easy to fake it, you know? And I mean, Boost in general, like... Do you think the V1s are harder to fake? I would... I think there's less... I think there's less fakes of them. Um, yeah. I could be wrong about that, but... There's just, I don't know, maybe it's just the shape of the V1s. There's something that you can, like, there's something as soon as you see a fake V1, you can sort of tell. And I don't know if that's, like, the overall the shape. The material looks a lot cheaper. The color looks different, at least when exactly. I looked at them. I've never seen a fake V2. Right. They, the yeah, fake V2s. It was doing fake V2, V1s. They was, they was, you can tell the differences. Like, in the boost, there was difference in the boost and the way the, they, there was so many different videos on it with the V1. It was very, very noticeable. But if you yeah. see the videos on, like, for example, the fake zebras are probably the most popular videos you'd see on YouTube. Somebody compares like fake zebras to real zebras, and I swear it looks like they just have two real shoes, and they're trying to say like one's fake and one's not. They look exactly the same. That's the problem with the V twos, man. They they like killed it on this one. It's so good. Exactly. I know it's it's frustrating too because there's a lot of people out there who are who want to buy Yeezys. Like you know, say you're a kid, you save up your allowance, and you you know you have like five or six hundred bucks, and you want to buy a pair of Yeezys. It's it's scary for them because they could buy a pair and if if it's fake, there's literally nothing they can do and it's not like they can sell the shoe because no one's gonna buy a fake pair and they're kind of just stuck. I mean, they were scammed, you know, and they're kind of just stuck. And I think that's 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 my main problem with fakes is that you really are you know lying to people and deceiving people. I, I don't really have a problem with like them making shoes that look similar to Yeezys, but if the fact that they're passing them off as Yeezys, that's where the problem is for me. Well, if they're gonna brand it as a Yeezy and they try to sell it as Yeezy, I think that should be illegal. Oh, exactly. I don't know how that's not illegal. I don't know how people yeah. are not going to jail for that. Like how that's like me selling it's the same thing with anything in life. Like what's, oh, what's like, successful an iPhone. Yeah, Say if I could yeah. copy the iPhone exactly how it is and sell it for a cheaper right. price and call it an iPhone, but it's and not an iPhone. Exactly. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to call it a Yeezy if it's fake. Like if you want to make a fake Yeezy, it should be called a Feezy. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in the comments said AliExpress my plug, which is a place you can buy, you can buy fake Yeezys. Uh, let me let me take some of these questions in the comments. Julia, oh, Christina, yeah, Julia Christina asks, um, Doug, what pair in your collection uh, do you rarely or never wear? The Moonrock Yeezys. Moonrock Yeezys. Yeah, the Moonrocks. I, I you know what it is because I have so many of them. I'm lucky. Or it's like if I have to choose one, I always choose the blacks or the turtle doves or even the triple whites now or the zebras. I usually choose those over it because they're I, I just like those a little bit more. Totally. I guess what I'm trying to, to say. Off. They're easier to pull off and they look a little bit better on your feet. So the moon rocks for sure. But I'm happy that I have them. I think they're great shoes. For sure. For sure. Let me see. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, do you mainly buy your shoes off goat or do you go to like flight club or stadium goods or what's your main go to? Uh, if I had to buy an exclusive shoe that is already a release and I want to pay resale, I definitely do goat because I trust right. it. For sure. I don't know. Like yeah. I feel that. In my head, I feel like Goat probably screwed up and passed fakes off as real. But yeah. I think that they're really tight knit. Like I bought the Vapor Max Oreos and I got two pairs of them because, like, when I told you I went to that store, they right. said they don't have them in the size 11. So I bought them in the size 10, trying to trade them. Then when I went to the other store, they had them in the 11. I tried to sell the brand new size 10, and they said that they were not brand new because I had one of the shoes unlaced. It's right. so like they're really strict about it, uh -oh. which is something that I I know it's kind of lame, but. It makes me feel more secure that I'm going to buy shoes off of their website. Like that they're going to take that into account. Uh, so I do that. But most of the time now, I feel like I have all the shoes that I've wanted. And right. if a new shoe is going to come out, I'll find a way to get it for retail. Like I'll be there before somebody else. Or if I really want to get something, I'll make sure I get the best price for it. I won't, you know, wait until it comes out for a thousand dollars. I think that's insane. Yeah. Have you ever tried StockX? No, but I, I do trust that website too. I never bought anything off of it though. Right. I think uh, the nice thing about those is that, you know, back in the day, like you could only, it was Facebook groups, it was eBay or just knowing people, but now you, at least you have options, you know, goat is really nice. StockX is really, I, StockX I use over anything else just because it's so convenient. You know, I can just drop the shoes in a box, drop them off at the post office or UPS or whatever. And that's it. You know? Yeah. I don't trust eBay, but, um, the oh. Nike Flyknit uh, Air Max, like I forgot what the colorway was, but it was like the, the jolt blue. It had like the yellow and the blue and it was like the black top. Right. And I, I thought I bought them brand new. And when they came in, they did not feel brand new. They felt like they were worn. Like, I don't trust that at all. Someone someone pulled that on me. Like, I sent them a pair of shoes that I had literally never worn. And they're like, no, it's worn. It's worn, blah, blah, blah. And then they sent it. They told me it was fake, first of all, when I bought them from the Nike wow. store. 
And then I thought they were going to try and scam me and then go through PayPal and say like, oh, these are fake. Can I get my money back? That sort of thing. But I was lucky in that they just sent them back, which is good because yeah. I wasn't trying to lose like 150 bucks for no reason. You know? Yeah. I feel you, man. For sure. Let's see. Uh, let's grab another comment or another question. Someone here. says, Colton Murphy says, Doug, how do you pick the shoe to wear for the day? All your shoes look good with your outfit. <laughs> uh, it depends on what I'm doing, you know? Like, for example, last night I went out with my boy and we watched the, the basketball game. So I wore like this all black outfit. I wore the Oxford tans with it because I felt like it pops with it. Sure. And I try to, I feel like at this point I have so many different pairs that I really like and I just try to find different outfits to rock with them. And I try to change them up every single day so that I could wear all of them. Because if you're going to spend so much money on them and have them, you might as well use them. You know what I mean? So wear your sneakers, kids. That's what I think. I think you should, but you should be smart about it. Like, um, what was I doing the other day? I went to the park today. I was going to the park and there's like a bunch of bird crap everywhere. I'm not going to wear my Yeezys there. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if you're going out to like a nice dinner, if you're going out, you know, somewhere where you know, like if you're not going to a beach, if you're going somewhere where there's nice clean grounds, then, you know, go crazy with it. That's how I feel at least. Totally. I agree. I think not enough people wear their sneakers. And I think that's because for a lot of people, it's it's more than just a collection. Like it's, you know, it's like your, your freaking Pokemon cards back in the day. Like you wouldn't play with all of them like in the game because you were afraid you were going to mess them up or ruin them. That Charizard, dude, the limited edition Charizard. Oh, yes. oh yeah, I think of it immediately, dude. <laughs> it's sad. I never, I was never into Pokemon when I was a kid because my parents were like, "We're not going to spend the money on the on these cards for you." So I never got into it. And then Pokemon Go came out, and I finally understood what everyone was talking about when I was like five. Dude, I was a fiend for the Game Boy and the cards, man. A fiend. Really? The Game Boy ones are the best. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Sapphire blue, ruby red, uh, the originals, the red, the, the original the red blue. and blue. Yeah, those are probably the best. Even the gold ones were good. I even picked up the new one for the uh, 3DS. That was okay. It wasn't as fun though. I haven't played the newest ones, but the graphics on them are all it's 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 all crazy now. It's like 3D. I feel like the Pokemon were better back then than they are now. Oh, totally. Now they're ridiculous. I mean, like they yeah. just, they, I feel like they ran out of ideas. Like, I mean, how many ideas can you get though? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how many, how many different Pokemon can you design until you can't design anymore? Yeah, it's true. It's really true. Um, okay, so let me see. We've got a question from Electric Shock. Oh, um, so <laughs> Electric Shock wants to know he's got a pair of Bread V2 Yeezys in a size 11 and a half. Should he keep or should he sell? Uh, you should give them away. <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 <laughs> I mean, if you if it's your size and they fit you comfortably, I'd keep them. Yeah, exactly. I agree, yeah. especially if you're having them for retail. If they're your size and they fit you good, keep them. That's what I think. Unless you're like dying to have some money, then sell them. <laughs> That's I've got to say, there's there's been a couple months that have been tough, and I like have to sell a pair of shoes for rent. But I mean, other than that, like it's not happening too much. You know, it's not too bad. You don't sell the stuff that you really love. Someone, oh, Legit Looks for Life. Hey, yeah, I was just about to say that. Shout out to you, Legit Looks for Life. That's my homie. Oh, word? He wants to know, yeah, that's my homie. He wants to know um, if you're going to VidCon, Doug. Me? I don't know, yeah. maybe. I mean, I went to Playlist Live, and my manager's like, Sensor, you need to go to Playlist Live. I was like, okay, I'll go. So if he's like, yo, Sensor, you got to go to VidCon, I'll be like, okay, I'll go. Uh, it <laughs> Wait, depends on the date, about? though. Right. It's kind. Of, it's just basically what I understand it as is a bunch of creators, you know, whether it's Vine, YouTube, or any social media, they just all get there and it's a huge convention with all these people. They speak on panels, they do fan meetups, oh, okay. and cool. yeah, it's a it's a cool way to interact with fans and interact with other creators and collab with them. So um, yeah, I'll go if I have the time for it and if other people are going that I know, you know. But um, right now I'm in the middle of like purchasing a house and you know I got so many things going on so. It depends on the date. It depends on what's going on. So we'll see. Congrats on that, by the way. I've been following your progress yeah, videos. That's awesome. It's, man. That's it's insane, dude. It's so crazy, and I love it, man. And it, it's crazy. I'll, like, I'll post the house video probably like once a week because there's a lot of crazy stuff happening to it. And people sure. are like, all you do is post stuff about your house. <laughs> Stop showing off your money. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, this is sick. Like, People are watching it. I'm going to keep doing it. You know exactly. what I mean? <laughs> what else is crazy, too, is like just from just from a platform that started in 2006, you know, people are actually creating incomes and like supporting themselves. That's That's insane. I love it. Yeah, it's you. not even just supporting themselves. They're millionaires, man. Yeah, right. yeah they're sure millionaires are doing better than just support themselves, making more money than lawyers and doctors. That's yeah. I mean, we could use less lawyers, not so many doctors. We could use some more doctors, though. I feel like I feel yeah, like but some doctors' places are scams too. Like my girlfriend broke her foot, and we had to go to a doctor. Oh, yeah, we went to this doctor on Long Island, and we sat there for four hours waiting to see him. 
And he just looked at the x-ray and he said, yeah, you have a, a fracture here. I'm going to recommend you to another doctor to see if you need surgery. Yeah, right. I'm like, you is it your job to figure out if she needs surgery or not? Why are you a doctor if you're not going to tell us this? We had to spend $500 for the visit because we don't have insurance. And right. then uh, we had to go see another doctor. Jesus. Like I could have, I could have looked at an X-ray and saw that there was a piece of the bone not there. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's common kidding. sense. <laughs> uh, someone in the comments named Chance asked, "What's your favorite music music artist right now?" Ooh, for me, yeah, for all, I guess for for you and uh, OT Dub both. You take that, man. Take it first. My, uh, come on, favorite. That's like right now. Yeah, right now. Little pump. <laughs> Doug, I don't know if you've heard of Lil Pump. He's a 16 year old mumble rapper. I don't know if you're into mumble rapper. Oh, is he? He's, yeah, yeah, he's so. like he's like a goofball rapper, man. All his tracks are just ridiculous. The lyrics don't make no sense. The, the songs are kind of it's they're so bad. It's, it's catchy. He's one of those type of rappers. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. Um, for me, if I had to pick, if I had to pick, absolutely one, I would say the Chainsmokers. Oh, nice. They got a lot of they got a lot of oh, hype like music right now. Yeah, I like their beats. I don't like the new album at all. I feel like it's too Backstreet Boy. Right, <laughs> but I do love their collabs with Coldplay and and you know just Daya from last year with Don't Let Me Down. I they have a lot of really good songs from the gym and just cool songs to listen to. I love Linkin Park. Um, I love Eminem. I like Drake. So there's a lot of different variations, but my like go-to would probably be the Chainsmokers. Nice. The Chainsmokers, to me, they came out of nowhere all of a sudden. They like, they haven't last year, they blew up. They went crazy yeah, they last year. Yeah. All of a sudden. Yeah. Came Did you see that thing that Yeezy Mafia just posted three hours ago? Yeezy Boost 350 V2, semi-frozen yellow, raw steel, red, oh, December 2017. They posted this three hours ago. Let's see, let's see. I see a holiday pair, Yeezy V2 blue tent. Yo, they should come out like an ugly Christmas color Yeezy. That would be, I could get down <laughs> I'd cop that. that in a heartbeat. I could get down with that. Let's see, where is that? Yeezy Mafia. What did, have you seen the uh, the Kith Ultraboots collab? Have you seen these guys? The the mid tops, yeah. Those are yeah. fresh. Do you know Nate Shot? Optic Nate Shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, when we did the thing when Yunette broke her foot, uh, right. he was rocking those the same day, and I think they're fresh. They're great. I like the color. They're, they're one of those shoes that when I first saw them, I was like, I don't know how I feel about them because they really do look like a, like an old sweater. They're kind of weird looking, like how they're the mid top and everything, but I think they're a cool color and it's unique. Exactly. And that's that's the whole reason I grabbed them. I, well, first of all, I grabbed them just because I was lucky enough to, to be able to grab them, but I kept them because, yeah, exactly. They're different. I wore them they're comfortable, them. right? Super, they're actually, I would almost go as far as to say that they're more comfortable than the other Ultra Boosts, like in warm or in cooler temperatures because they really do like sort of surround your foot and kind of hug it. Because of that mid top, right? Exactly. Aren't they doing that with the Yeezys? They're making like 650 Yeezys, like yeah, mid-top Yeezys. Like mid-top. Yeah, I've seen There's that. There's been talk about that. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I'd love it to happen, but they're uh, cool. I like those for sure. Oh, so I'm on their page right now. Is it uh, which one is it? Let me go to their media. Hopefully, they don't have any like crazy pictures in here. Look at this um, picture right here. I'm going to link to you guys. This one looks sick. This is like an Ultra Boost, and it's like a red 3.0. Oh, sick. I'm going to send this to you, and it's like a mid-top one too. It kind of looks like the oh, Kiss, but. Different. I'm gonna send this to you in your DM. These look dope. I would cop these if I saw them. They don't have a cage. It's uncaged, but it looks like a cage ultra boost. Three, the three stripes. Oh and yeah, 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 that looks sick, doesn't it? Yeah. These ones are coming out real soon. These ones are the. Um, I think they're they're not the ATR. I don't remember the exact name for them. They're coming out like end of the summer, and they're actually like this is a pair that I really want to grab. There's something about like. There's something about Ultra Boost. These, these are the shoes that get me the most video, uh, the most views on YouTube. For whatever reason, people are obsessed with them. And I, I mean, they're great shoes. I totally get it. But this pair in particular, like, it's so different. It's like really, it's 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 fresh as hell. I really like it. I really like that. I like that better than the cage. If they kept having that style, I think that'd be sick. That'd be definitely sick. Yeah. I think th I saw like a black or a, I forget what the other colorway was. But there was another. There's a couple colorways of these coming out. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. I've seen them too. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, if anybody else has any other questions in the comments, make sure to put those in now. We're going to start wrapping things up. Let's yeah, you got to pull up that picture with that that thing that says semi-frozen yellow, raw steel, and red, and look at the replies. Somebody see. has like a SpongeBob ice cream pop. <laughs> <laughs> like that was like the first reply. <laughs> That's the best part about sneaker. Uh, Easy Mafia it. tweeted it. Yeah. Yeah, click the tweet with the the picture of like the text saying the Yeezy and the. Oh, that's the, okay. Yeah, let me pull that up. Oh, and then look okay, at the replies to it, and it has like the SpongeBob ice cream pot. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> and it's melting, Dude, that's right? gonna be an ugly color, man. <laughs> what does semi frozen yeah. yellow even mean? And rust steel. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, look, look, there it goes. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. <laughs> look, at some, look at somebody's. Look at the meme below it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Wavy baby. Yeah, no, that'll be that'll be an interesting shoe. I'm uh I'm interested to see that happen. That, the red's probably gonna be like the wow, dude. It's gonna be the spy. It's gonna say yeah. red spot, and then everything else is gonna be that yellow and and uh, like a gray. The base is gonna probably. be yellow, and the stripes are gonna be like that teal looking blue thing. Yeah. I mean, I could get down with it. Let's be honest. I mean, it's not a bad. It's not a bad color. It's not a bad. I'd color. like to see it. I don't know if I could walk around with yellow shoes. I don't know. It's probably gonna be ugly as hell. <laughs> it's not <laughs> so ugly. <laughs> see, see, see. Um, Doug, what is your? Uh, Aaron Ortiz asks, Doug, what's your favorite pair of shoes ever? Straight up. The turtle doves. Turtle doves. Hell yeah. Yeah, the turtle doves. Let's see. Let's see. Someone else. <laughs> Direct Jar uh, Jarez says, "Are you a hi uh, hype beast sensor?" Absolutely. What? <laughs> I have no shame in that. <laughs> hype is life. But I it, like, for example, like when the Belugas came out and there was a lot of right. hype around them. I'm not gonna buy those. Exactly. I'm, I like hype shoes if they look good. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I'll buy a I, pair I of shoes. That, I'll buy a pair of shoes that aren't hyped up. Like, um, I'm just trying to think of a shoe. Like the core black ultra boost aren't really that hyped, but I like those better than the triple black ultra boost, which are more hyped. And I, I bought those instead. So I do like type yeah. shoes. But do you have the uh, triple black ultra boost? No, I didn't like them that much. I think the, it's just weird to me how shiny the boost is. Like it's like a shiny black. Everything is kind of like this matte look. You can't see boost. like the design on it, I think. Like from a distance, I feel like it's too plain. Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel. So. I just happen to like the shoes that are hyped up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Someone in the comments, I think it was Joseph Ruiz, or said, uh, phase red Yeezy, yo. Oh, dude, imagine if you could do like a – imagine there was a, a phase Yeezy collaboration, man. Are you kidding me? You're going to speak it into existence, man. It's actually possible, man. That's actually possible. That's crazy to think about. That, that would look fire. so fresh. Because the phase colors are dope. They really, Yeah, definitely. Also, the red. Another comment from Legit Looks for Life. Who's a bigger sneakerhead? Face sensor, nade shot, or rice gum? Ooh. Uh I don't know. I think I think Nade Shot's probably the biggest sneakerhead. I don't think Rice Gum's as big as a sneakerhead as people think. Like I was chilling with him in yeah. Vegas last in uh, November of last year, mm -hmm. and he had the turtle doves and they were just completely messed up, like completely dirty and worn. And I was like, dude, like <laughs> this is a really nice shoe. He's like, Yeah, you know, I, I wore them all the time and they got messy. Like he talked about it like it wasn't a big deal. Right. Um I don't think Rice comes as passionate about. I think he is, but I don't think he's as passionate about me or Nate. But I think Nate shots more of a hype beast than I am. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Right. Alejandro asked this a bunch of times. He wants to know what <laughs> shoe size are you all, <laughs> and is it hard to get shoes in your size? Um, I wear a size 11, and I don't know. I feel like I feel like probably nine is the hardest shoes to get in it, since like there's more people that wear a size nine than anybody. Let me tell you that um, I think the national average is ten and a half, but I'm a size nine, and they're the most like for whatever reason they sell out first, and they're the ones that usually go for the most, which is frustrating for me. But, I feel uh, like a, I feel like a thirteen or a twelve would be like the easiest to get. No, yeah, yeah, well, the, thing is, yeah. the thing is with those, and we found we actually did a live stream maybe about three weeks ago for the for the white Easies, and um, the thing is with those is like even though less people are going for them, Adidas knows that, and they just make less stock. So the problem is like there's less people going for it, but there's a lot less you know product to go around. So exactly, I'm a size 11 as well, and I don't think it's that hard to get. But my right. friend is a size 16, and they like it's impossible to find that. Dude, it's mine too. I got, dude. A, I got a friend size. He's either 15 or 16. I'm like, dude, I can't help you with that. Like, it's not, like I can't NBA do that for you. Or Shaq or something, Jesus. <laughs> well, my friend, he's a uh, MMA fighter. Oh, nice. My friend's just a six five behemoth, but <laughs> I'm curious, like, dude, what about like those seven footers of the NBA? Like what size shoe are they? I was actually I heard, I heard they had to get their shoes like custom made, like they had to get them ordered specifically for them. Like apparently some NBA players have a size twenty shoe. Some yeah. have, Shaq has a size twenty two. The Kimway yep. Matumbo? Yep. What's Matumbo have? I don't know. I size twenty, I'm assuming. I don't know. Robin Shaq Lopez is a size twenty. 20. Brooke Lopez is also a size twenty. Yao Ming is a size 18. KD is an 18. They don't even sound like real shoe sizes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. damn. I don't. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't handle a big foot struggle. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> oh man. Well, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's. We'll take one more question before we have to close things down. 
Best question. Who got the best question? Exactly. Doug, are you in the live chat at all? Do you want to pick a question? Oh, snap. Let oh. me pull this up real quick. Sweet. And don't, don't forget to mute it because you'll hear. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, let's see. So that's something about Shaq. Um, what do you think of the new XR ones and did you cop them? I don't like the XR ones. Um, favorite shoe, favorite Jordan, favorite fast food joints. If you guys could restock one shoe, what would it be? That's a good question. That is a really good question. Let's, let's that that's a good question. Yeah, that's, that's a really good like one. That. You guys take it first. You go ahead, Seth. For me, it would be the um, the fragment ones. And I know it's a hype beast answer, but they're just I, I there's not enough blue air Jordan ones out there, in my opinion. Okay. Or, or you know what? Or the turtle dove easy the ones. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Those, I like I like the uh, the fragment ones. I wish I wish I could get a pair of those, man. Yeah, right. I heard me? You guys say about when the, when they were coming out in Marshalls for like twenty dollars. I think that was all BS. I don't I don't know how I feel about ah, that. No, I think that was real, man. Yeah. Well, what do you, how about for you, Dub? What, what's the shoe you want to restock? Uh, I mean, there's there's not really a shoe that I I don't have that I'd want again, but right. I would have to say probably like. Honestly, like the Chinese New Year 3.0. That's that a shoe I don't have, and I want yeah, that shoe. That shoe is sexy, man. Good good, good pick. I love that's that. That's a good one. And they're not going to restock it because they remake them every year, right? Yep. Yeah, last year's wasn't as good as this year. Last year was on a 2.0. It was like all blue. And then it was ugly. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. No. Super I, ugly. Honestly, I don't like the 2.0 model all like that. I hate yeah. how it has that thing on the top of the toe box. Like, yep. I don't know. It's just The weird. 3.0 one is so fresh, and the 3.0 it's Chinese the New Year is dope. So exactly. I would probably say that one. Nice. Yeah, I know that one's uh, sick. They're actually doing they're doing a multicolor version, which looks very similar to the Chinese New Year, except rather than like red and white, it's just like a bunch of different colors. So that it's not be- that bad. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. I wouldn't buy them, but they're cool. Exactly. Have a few. Keyons. Mine, mine would be the Vans and Pata collab. Of course, you know I got to pick a pair of Vans. You gotta do Vans, man. You're the Vans. Pick a pair of Vans, but. Yeah, it's the Vans X Pata collab. Those are so sick, in my opinion. And and in the um, I love how on the midsole it says like black cat eyes or something like that. I don't know. Just writing on the midsole, which is super dope to me. So I would love for those to restock. Yeah, those are sick. Well, it looks like that's all we got time for today. Huge thank you to Doug for coming out. Doug Sensor Martin. Is there anything you want to plug or anything you want to tell the uh, the viewers? Uh, check out my YouTube channel. I'm probably making like a shoe. That's what I got to do. I got to do like another shoe collection video because since my last one I made months ago, I didn't have a lot of the shoes that I have now. Right. Most of my shoes in that collection were like Air Maxes and a couple of Yeezys. Now it's all Adidas basically and a couple of Vapor Maxes. <laughs> but check out my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. You can see it from my YouTube, YouTube.com. So censor. But uh, Seth, thank you for having me on, man. It was a pleasure thank talking so to you. Being here, man. We really appreciate it. Yeah, this Seriously. is awesome. I love shoes and I love watching your channel. So um, yeah. it's my pleasure to be here right now. That's awesome to hear, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much again. Thank you guys for being in the comments. Thank you, Keon. Both Keon and Doug's information, all their social, all their YouTube, everything is in the description below. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to do that. Give them both a subscribe. I'm sure you're already subscribed to Face Center. Make sure to subscribe to OT Dub. And thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Later, guys. Later.